armed thugs numbering over 100 invaded the governorship tribunal sitting at the magistrate court in Abekuta on Monday, June 5th, 2023. This Abekuta, eh? They could do like say they did peaceful for that place. So the people say they no sabi, they no sabi eh, quarry, they no sabi trouble. But a lot of things don't happen for that place. Even during Nara uh, redesigning and all of that, we saw how they did some wonders. Now there, this Arab and big come from all manner of things. Coming out from that uh, state, this this. <clears throat> so this is now the latest. The thugs armed with uh, six and other armful objects stormed the court premises with the aim of scoring some of the or scaring some of the opposition party members who had already assembled at the tribunal premises and stopping them from assessing the court premises. The Ogun State Governorship Tribunal sitting is expected to determine among other things the tribunal the true winner of the march 18 governorship a march 18 governorship election of which the incumbent governor dakwa biodon was declared the winner but is being challenged by the people's democratic party pdp candidate ladi adibutu eyewitnesses revealed that the presence of the security officers stationed the premises did not deter the thugs who launched the attacks on um, attack on every person present, including journalists and some party supporters. The policeman said, There is nothing we can do. We can't arrest them. Everything about Ugun is always different. <laughs> Everything about them is always different. A PDP member who was interviewed after the attack stated that he lost his phone, money, and other valuables in his possession while being beaten. As of the time of filing, these reports members of the pdp have fired or fled the court premises to avoid further attacks <laughs> okay so is it a pdp or apc talks with this one just uh, the same thing they did uh, in what is it called in river state we don't even know whether to, nobody's even hearing about it, that case again we heard that uh, they have a uh, We've stopped to challenge that case in uh, in River State. But Tonya is telling Tonya Ko is telling us that that is not what happened. This and that, and people should dismiss it. But you know they hear anything about the case again. Well, APC and Togri are like five and six. And to think that uh, the police is aiding them is a thing to be ashamed of. They say they cannot arrest them. The same, I could remember during X-Men period that time, that was how police told us that they can't do anything or that these guys... We're coming from a what is it called from a another country, and I say really that is nothing they could do. The same, the same statement. That's why I say this will say eh? it gets a bill. Mm. How can police say that eh, they can't arrest thugs? They should leave the country or the court premises if they can not do their job because obviously they have been bought over by the governor. By but tomorrow. If the opposition decide to storm the tribunal with armed talks too, the police will bow, develop the will power, we bow and the will power to arrest them. What goes around comes around. Nigerians are watching the police with one eye. Yes, so they are watching them with one eye. It's a planned on state manage and deliberate. We really don't even have police force. The glaring situation in Nigeria is that uh, we just have one arm of government, the other arm has been cut off. Yes, so in Lagos now, in some, in some Lagos, in Lagos now, the all the Agbero, all the people now say, ah, there's nothing anybody can do now during good time. Just the same way, this guy, the couple table was bragging that time. He said, now it is the same boost time. <laughs> so it is their time which they can do and undo. Yes, they can do and undo. This is what we have been talking about. I actually just gave this prediction yesterday and many people were condemning him. Whatever has happened with Ugun State can happen anyway. They should beef up security at the election tribunal because if it is not favoring their pay master, let us avoid unexpected consequences. See the country where Nigeria politicians they raise. Last, last, now war will settle everything. Nigeria is a scam and the so-called president is a drug dealer. is a crime to humanity and nigeria can never be well until nigeria is divided 
the police is always helpless where it concerns APC, but where it concerns other parties, they make swift arrests. Mm. So at least we, from this whole thing now, for this, if the opposition, he, nah, nah, don't baba. APC party of Togri, they have destroyed Nigeria. It will never be well with the people that brought it on Nigeria. No matter who they are, they will never have peace of peaceful rule. The reign of Emperor Tinubu has started. Governments of Togri, led by their sponsor, Bala Blue, is in town. May God see you hope. APC and Togs, what sort of old foolishness and senseless is this? Can this even be called government? Sha, we cannot all be an animal. APC party thugs and drug laws. In Nigeria, criminal politicians know they don't want peace at all. Rule of law for this country. Now, wow. Now, what go even end up? Last, last. How do we describe our country in the light of such primitive, barbaric, and unlawful acts at the premises of a court? May God help Nigeria. How to write opinion? type question and agree or disagree it's just so ridiculous so so guys i say yes your opinion and i will take on this